Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Wheel Hobbies. Today I'll be um, showing you how to convert uh, Corsa C uh, to run four stud big block. Um, I've got the parts here, so I'll show you. So the parts here we've got, obviously you need Corsa C, uh, Omariva, five stud hubs from a CDTI. Um, obviously I've got these from the breakers yard, but don't be surprised if you're paying 100, 150 quid for them. Obviously they are getting sort of uh, quite expensive nowadays and rare as well. Um, next you'll need a set of um, hubs, big block hubs um, off a Mark III Astra, uh, 1.8, 2 litre, um, Cavalier, uh, 2 litre, 2.5, V6, let, whatever, anything that's got big block hubs. And then you're going to need two new wheel bearings. It's the Vico part number. Um, four, a Mark III Astra GSI, Cav, Calibra, anything big block. I'll show you how we get on with it. <clears throat> right, guys, so um, we've knocked these uh, centre hubs out of the Cav legs. Just use a socket just on the centre there and then they will just knock straight out. Um, but unfortunately with these ones, as you can see, they are uh, yep, very worn on here, so obviously these are no good for the job. As you can see, if I get a new bearing out now, no point is they press in, but in this circumstances, I'm not supposed to do that. So, looks like I'm going to have to buy another set of uh, legs for the job, unfortunately. Right guys, so we've been and bought another set of legs. So I'm just going to knock the centre out. I use a 27mm deep. It fits in there and doesn't damage anything. So, yeah, okay, maybe just need to turn the vice up a bit more. Obviously no fancy gizmo tools around here. Obviously nice to have a 20 ton press but still do it the good old fashioned way. It's a bit tight as well. Very tight. Yeah. Yeah, dear. Yeah, dear. There we have it. Bearing splits out. Yeah. It looks better nick than the last centre hub. Just try it with a new bearing. Yep, there we go. Nice tight fit. Oh, pressing there, lovely. Right. One down, three more to go. Okay, guys, so um, I've got both of the cav inner hubs out. Tested them on the bearing, both nice, no wear on them. Obviously, when you're dealing with the new bearings, make sure you've got no rubbish on your hands. Obviously, you don't want no contamination or grit getting into them, so always keep them away from dust. So, basically, you're doing the um, Corsa C five stud hubs now, stripping these down. Um, so obviously I've taken the ABS sensor off, I don't want to damage that, and that's attached with a 5mm hex bit into the hub. Obviously what you normally find is when you're undoing them, the steel swells up around this, should be a little plastic lug here, 
but um, again, it snaps off. But they bolt back on pretty good. So I'll just take that off, keep that safe. Obviously, um, the brake dust shields now. Obviously, I've seen better days, but obviously, rather than damaging them, destroying them all together, I'm just um, taking them out. So basically, you got three little um, T30 bolts. Um, n normally, so what you do you, is the hole where the uh, you go through like that down into there. But nine times ten, I wouldn't even entertain trying to undo them because probably just rounding them off. So trick I do is grab, stay there. Nice chisel, hammer. Obviously, there's one round here, which is kind of hard for you to see, but just give it a lot of little taps. The shock of it, freeze it up, and then just give it a clamp. Go, there we go. She's gone. That's the third one off there, and then this comes off like so. We'll see. Got that out, so I'll clean that out. Clean that up, give it a lick of paint, ready to put back on. Right, so now it's time to get the centre bearing. Up there now. So in this case, I'm just going to drop this one in the vice. Or vice has a thrash or two. Right. So I'll just uh, knock these out and I'll join you back. Right guys, so we've got all the centre hubs out of the five stud and the four stud ones. So now you'll be uh, needing to get the circle clip out of here. Obviously, usually the bearings are a bit mullered. We've got lots of little bearings in here. Obviously if you drop them, make sure you don't trip over them. I'm just gonna pull this out. Oh, there's a race there, but so circle up normally have corroded quite badly. So, what I normally do is uh, get a little chisel and just tap them just to shock, shock them a little bit. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, right, so, need a chisel and then... <whistles> Take the pliers. It's probably not going to come. Oh, yep, there we go. So the shock worked. Screwdriver in there just to croak her up. There we go. an old circle out. Right, now we need to pull this old bearing race out. People have got, you know, 15, 20 ton presses. Obviously, if you haven't got that, you can buy this bearing puller kit, usually about 40 to 60 quid. Um, ranges all the way through um, so we'll use this to pull this out I'll just set the adequate sizes up now right, so you want your outside sleeve on top like that obviously so the insides big enough for the bearing to pull out obviously that's our puller just sits underneath obviously make sure it's adequate to go in there so it doesn't obstruct the cast hub. <coughs> Big nut, bolt, sorry. Sit that on there. And we shall go for the next one. In the washer. You might 
find better now if you are doing it this way in a vice rather than having two spanners. Yeah, put the one nut end in the vice. Too small, too big. Right then, so I'm gonna suck it on that. There we go, hear that crack? It's there and going out. Yep, he fell. About an old bearing. So there's our bearing in there. Now we've uh, got the bearing out, what you want to do now is just make sure there's no bears or anything inside here. Make sure it's all nice and clean, clean out where the circlip sits in. Sometimes, some people suggest putting a little bit of oil or grease in there, some others don't recommend it. So I'll just clean these up now. We've got the hub all cleaned up now, ready to set the new bearing. So basically you want to reverse the way you did it before. So obviously sit that nice and square in there. Sit it on something that's as big as the outer race. Which we'll go for the next size up now. I don't want to be pushing the inner race out of its place. So then the old one we had, sit that on top, make sure it's nice and square, which would probably get away with a small one then. Yes. And then, got it. Um, no, we don't need that, do we? No. We need, that will do, I'd imagine. Yes, that will do lovely. Uh, I'll go that way. A bit more height. Washer on. I forgot that all ready now. Just keep it all nice and square. Screwing her up. On. We've got it nice and square, it should pull it in lovely.
far as that will go now. What we want to do now is just send it home with five mil. Right. In there, not quite all the way. So now, what we want to do is go through there and get uh, some more bigger. No, nope, needs to go bigger, so it's not quite over the outer base. Perfect. Back in again. Make sure that that is nice and strict there. You know, as soon as you're all the way, because it was just something tight, 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 tight. <coughs> right, I can see the bearings all the way home now. Got that lap there. So then what we shall do is put the new sir clip in. Welcome to the penny shop. That's fair, but nice new one. Right. That bearing's all ready to go. So, clip in. No. We need to get our cab or bearings now. So we need to get this in a race off here. You know what I normally do is get the grinder and put a diagonal slit straight across there. Obviously it takes the pressure off it and then it just normally pops straight off then. Turns us on. Little little hammer. Tiny voice. Nothing to it. Uh, Slice it across there. That's up there. So again, make sure you've got no bears on this. So 
that make sure it's all good. Now this is one of the important parts now. When we're pressing this centre in, we need to make sure as that's going in, we don't pop this in a race out, which is quite easily done. So when you're putting your on there, you want to make sure that that is against that bit. Otherwise the bearing is scrap basically. So again, put that on there. Pull through. We shall put this in device. Water in first then that. Nice and tight. Just going through it. Then make sure you keep it nice and centre. Make sure that inner race is all solid. And then just keep an eye on it, making sure it's going straight. See, four stud, big block knuckle. Use of Cavalier, big block hubs, Cavalier, big block wheel bearings. Course of C, CDTI five stud knuckle. There you go, guys. Just got to do the rest now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.